एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ नैट कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑन चेक पॉइंट फायरवॉल इन लास्ट थ्री वीडियोस वी हैव सीन सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ सोर्स नेट डेस्टिनेशन नेट एंड वी आल्सो सॉ हाउ वी कैन डू अ सोर्स नेट एंड डेस्टिनेशन नेट इन सिंगल फ्लो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज देयर इन टास्क 7 एंड 8 नाउ इट सेज यू आर अलाउड टू ऐड राउट्स ऑन आर2 एंड देन आर1 शुड नॉट हैव एनी डिफॉल्ट और स्टैटिक राउट सो आई एम ऑन R1. Okay, so R1 there should not be any route. So let me verify that again. Sorry, net stat Rn. So there is no route. And on R2 there should be a route. So there is a route which I have added, which is net stat minus Rn, and we could see default route. Perfect. Now next it says traffic from R2. on this ip address on port 3389 should go to test machine and then traffic from r2 on the same ip address on port 4 times 2 should go to 13611211 on port 22 so this is one example wherein we have multiple servers and i want to publish multiple servers using a single ip address using layer 4 information so this is a straight forward task go to uh, dashboard and create a policy for example uh yes this policy and give this policy name uh, as for example r2 hyphen multiple servers sources uh 1361120 traffic will come from this then network object new host and that is not hyphen 13611122 and let me verify the ip address 122123 okay 13611122 and 123 done on which service traffic will come in so once uh, there will be two traffic one is on 3389 and second is on 4 times 2 so remote desktop protocol is 3389 right click add object new TCP service, TCP underscore four times two, two 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 two. Okay. Enable and policy is done. Go to NAT rules. NAT rule above. Two rules I need to create, so I will create these two rules simultaneously. So traf traffic will always come from this IP address. Traffic will be. For one two three address, okay. Here the layer four information is remote desktop protocol. Here the port number is TCP underscore two two two. This should go to a machine which is one thirty six one one two one hundred. I feel I created an object. Okay, here is the object, and this should go to Router one thirty six dot eleven and I don't have object. So go to node again. Host uh, R one hyphen one thirty six one one two one eleven one thirty six one one two one eleven. Okay. So we have both the rules set up. Here we need to translate the destination port as well to SSH port number twenty two. Add proxy app for this IP address one thirty six one one two two one two three. Again, sorry on the firewall. Admin, admin one two three. Add proxy add R proxy, and then IP address one thirty six one one double two dot one two three, and then interface interface EDH two. Save config. uh policy is done nad is done and proxy app is done install policy and then we will test uh, we can do a normal telnet from r2 so i am on r2 so first test we will do is telnet 1361122.123 on port 3389 and we can verify that in logs because uh, we will not be able to launch rdb connection from r2 
and once this is done we will do a telnet on 4 times 2 and we should get ssh traffic back from the ssh connection back from r1 uh, and verify if we have show configuration we have we have ssh enabled here on port number 22 perfect mm, policy almost done test number 1 3389 and we will not be able to see the results because uh, we, we cannot launch here uh, rdb connection uh, sorry go back to logs and then we should see here traffic is getting netted remote desktop here is the log entry open this so 136.1.1.2.12, destination port is 3389 and I could see destination NAT is happening with the test machine which is 136.1.1.2.100 so that is what we wanted and now close this so it did work for example I could see uh, some response back now 1, 2, 2, so 4 times 2 and we should see some traffic so it is getting added with R1 and SSH is the port number let me do another test let's see if we can do uh, there is no SSH command else we could have tried SSH here okay so uh, one one more thing so sure. i'm personally feeling it is not working because log says it is okay uh, so one more change is required here so this test is not right why this test is not right if you see you are allowed to add route on r1 but r1 should not have any default of static route so r1 doesn't know how to send response traffic back to the firewall so we need to make a change here that changes in both the rules we will do a source net as well so that r1 will always respond back in connected network so 11 let me see if we have object for 136 1, 112 1, 102 uh, we do not have so create a one so FW hyphen one thirty six one one two one one oh two. So that's the right change now. Because there is no route on R1, so R2 R1 will not be able to send traffic back to the firewall. So this NAT will force router to send the traffic on one thirty six one one twenty one one oh two. Okay. And okay. Now install policy and we will run the same test again. Two. So first test 3389 and then second test is triple two. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's see what is there in next task. So next task is very straightforward. Existing configuration please make sure traffic between R1 loopback and R2 loopback should not get netted. So that is one example of no NAT. So there should not be any NAT between R1 and R2. So we will create a no NAT rule wherein that rule will force the traffic coming in from R1 to R2 will not be translated. Okay. Uh, complete R2 and first RDP. And then and we can verify basically uh, in the firewall if response is coming back or not. So let me show you we have not seen this yet. We will cover this in uh, troubleshooting class. So let me first set the expert password. Uh, if config traffic, I want to see on Ethernet one. So TCP dump minus I Ethernet one. What that syntax is, we will see in detail when we will do troubleshooting. And then I want to capture the traffic on port three three eight nine do a telnet again and if you see I can see traffics 136 11 12 
to 136, 112, 100 and then uh, if you see response is coming back uh, which is and this is the sin flag and then response is coming back 136, 112, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 136, 112, 2, 2, 12, 1, 2, 2, 12. This is the R2 IP address. So that's okay. I can see responses coming back on the firewall on that interface. And now uh, we wanted to test triple two. And now earlier we were not able to see that uh, banner, SSH banner, uh, because there was no response traffic because of source net. Now we have source net in place. R1 is responding back to firewall and I can see the banner so that means traffic is getting traffic is reaching there and then response traffic is coming back okay uh, next task so uh, for this task if you can add routes on R1 and R2 perfect R1 has route sorry R2 has route but R1 doesn't so let me go back quickly add a route on R1 set protocol static route 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0 next hop is 136.1.121.102 commit the changes we have routes go back to let's see if we have a security policy from r1 so this policy will cover basically r1 to r2 access because destination is any so i will not create a policy new policy for this and interesting part here is create a rule it says source 150.1.1.0 destination 160.1.1.0 network and there should not be any NAT so source is original and destination is also original so we don't want to do a NAT so that is one example of no NAT rule so click on install ok And now we will initiate some traffic and we will verify the same in logs. We should see that is going from R1, traffic is going from R1 to R2 loopback without any matting in place. Okay, R1 ping 160.1.1.1 interface uh, interface 150.1.1.1 let's keep this running okay there is no lock sorry there's there's no response back why we have route here 136 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 0, 2. perfect then we have route on r2 let's verify that 136 okay that's good NAT tool is there security policy is there let's see if we have any logs on the firewall so you could see traffic is getting matted some Sorry, I could see traffic is being allowed and there is no NAT, but there should be a response back. Why it is not coming? Ping 160.1.1.1 interface 150.1.1.1 160.1.1.1 uh, ping 160 so if I'm trying to do a ping from firewall I can do that uh, is there any I don't see any drop as well uh, 150.1.1.1 160.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 and then traffic is being allowed and there is no NAT okay R2 ah okay so why this is not working let me tell you mm -hmm. if you see the interface configuration 
R2 is assuming 150.1.1.1 is local to this R2 because we have 150.1.1.5 slash 24 subnet and if you see routing here uh, this is connected so response is not going back to the firewall so let me delete this loopback now lead interface loopback 0 loopback address 150 commit this and we should see now response back ok so ICNP is running if you verify in fact we have verified already mm, uh, let me stop this start again logs and this time there is no NAT ok so that's all for this video I'll try to create more tasks and will upload videos for the same in some time thank you very much for watching this video series thank you